What's good you guys, it is Will here from Psychonaut Vision signing back in once again, coming at you with another video today. Now I kind of wanted to make a follow up video on the end of an era video that Alex made, basically giving my own spin off of it, but also reiterating some of what he said. And if you haven't watched that, I would recommend watching it before this video so you kind of get an idea of what he was talking about. And a lot of it stemmed from YouTube, from this channel. Now. Like you said, when we started in February of 2020, well, when we made our first video in February of 2020, we had a niche. You know, we had something that we could talk about. We had a foundation with psychedelics and with spirituality, with sort of philosophy at times, and a lot of like mental health, uh, even physical health, things like that. But m most of it stemmed from the psychedelic experience and what we encountered uh, through many of our endeavors. And at that time, it was so, we were still in that honeymoon phase of psychedelics where everything was so fascinating, so divine, so playful, and so mysterious and enigmatic in ways that was like so intriguing, ways that were so intriguing to both of us. And obviously we've had our own respective journeys, but it's funny because now I feel like we're, Alex and I are both in somewhat of a similar place where we are a bit afraid, where we don't really feel the same way as we once did towards them. And I guess, yeah, today, or no, it was yesterday, two years ago yesterday, uh, marked the two year anniversary of my first bad trip on psychedelics, on, on acid at the beach. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna go too far into that experience here. I made videos about that uh, in the past, but that was easily the most like self-deprecating, unforgiving, just in your face, humbling experience I ever had, at least to that point. And I would say, definitely the most self-deprecating thoughts I've ever had in my in a period of time in my entire life you know and I've had an ego death experience that was more so challenging and haunting in an existential sense though this was a lot more just I'm a coward I'm a loser I can't you know and like I said if you if you want to hear about that experience I do have some videos on it on the channel but essentially moral of the story from that trip was that it kind of flipped the switch in terms of my viewpoint with psychedelics, my outlook. You know, I, I saw that other side, the dark side, that it wasn't so childish. It was no longer so childish like it once was. It was a lot more sinister, man. And, you know, as time went on, I was still trying to figure out, like, what I could do to implement that trip. And I feel like now I have, which is why I'm willing to talk about it. You know, like, I, I feel in a way like nostalgic and nostalgia doesn't necessarily mean good or bad it's just like i look back on that reflecting in a sense of i needed to go through that you know to, to sort of level up in my life and overcome a new level of fear uh, and, and essentially be humbled but with that being said as time went on, I was like, okay, I don't really want to trip as often as I have been because I was tripping 2019, 2020, like four or five times a year, which isn't like the craziest thing you'll ever hear, but it was enough to where, okay, every few months, you know, you're planning out a new trip. Like, what's this going to do? And, and every time I would always be looking forward to it. Like, oh man, what am I going to learn here? What's the insight going to be? What new fascinating concept am I going to be, uh, it's going to intrigue me so much, right? And in 2021, actually, in the, after that trip that happened in June of 2020, like I said, I did another shrooms trip in November of that year. That was the last time I, I tripped. And then only two times in 2021 I tripped and only one time so far in 2022 I have. And it almost just feels like now I'm at this point where at least, and again, at least for now, I've gotten what I've needed from psychedelics to this point. That's not to say I'll never trip again. That's not to say that, uh, you know, I can't just all of a sudden get this compulsion to just be like, you know what, why don't I try a shroom strip again? But it's not, I mean, I can talk about it. I can talk all about these experiences. You know, I could talk about my entire journey with psychedelics like I have before. And that obviously still fascinates me to an extent, but it's, it just doesn't feel like something that I'm as grabbed by as I was back then, back when we started our YouTube channel. You know, and now, like, again, Alex was saying, our, our channel is titled Psychonaut Visions. 
And it feels like for both of us, we're not really psychonauts because we're not going out of our way to delve into a, um, another experience, you know, or try something even deeper, like a DMT trip. And that's fine. I mean, that's not to say we're, we're pussies or anything, right? I'm not trying to imply that, but I'm just saying it, it's scary, right? It's not something that you just willingly, casually go into and you're perfectly fine. Like you're gonna, you're gonna exit that experience with, you know, facing a challenge. You're gonna enter it and you're gonna face a challenge. And truth be told, I think anybody who delves into the psychedelic experience um, for more than just the recreational purpose needs breaks. You know, you need time away from it, right? And like the longest I've gone without tripping is about six months or so, I think. About six months, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less, but around then. But ultimately what I'm trying to say here is like with this channel, you know, I don't necessarily think we're just done uploading completely, but we haven't really experienced a whole lot of growth and that's obviously not the only reason why we're uploading videos like it's my goal with any of these videos and putting them out there is to really just try and impact somebody anybody like one person and i, I would be grateful for that but it's not like i'm just gonna be let down because we don't have a hundred thousand subscribers or we're not growing by the second but with that being said like you make this channel you know and you do want to grow, of course. But it's just like losing our niche a little bit and kind of not really having a consistent uploading schedule, having videos that are kind of all over the place and sporadic, and then talking a lot about our personal lives. It's great, but it does feel like we've hit a little bit of a lull. So we're like, we're just kind of stopped. Our, our growth as a channel has kind of stopped. And again, like Alex was talking about starting his own channel. I actually was thinking about doing the same thing. Uh, however, I think I really uh, need time to think about it, about what I would do, about what we're gonna do with this channel. I think we need some time to think about it. Again, it's literally a hobby. It's not something that we should feel like is a job, is a chore that we must abide by, but it's still something that, you know, we want to interact with you guys, people who are watching these videos, because we know people are still watching them. Uh, but I'm sure that, like, you guys can probably tell also, you know, we just haven't been uh, consistent. And our videos have been kind of all over the place. But I would say personally, like, my dedication towards the channel, like, I can still upload videos, but... It's definitely not like this just spark of inspiration where I'm always like looking forward to it, where it's always something that I'm just, uh, you know, really enjoying and, 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 you know, wanting to constantly make videos. Like I enjoy talking, I love this. I absolutely love this, don't get me wrong. But again, it's just like sometimes I don't know what to talk about and there can be at times where I might be repetitive or trying to force a video. And I don't want it to be that way, you know, like, I don't know exactly what I would uh, upload if it weren't about much of what I've uploaded on this channel, but I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel. And I think that's the beauty of it is that it is yours. It is a creative outlet where you can do whatever you want with it. And, you know, I actually have, I started an Instagram account where I like promote a lot of my writing. I started a TikTok account where I kind of talk like this and I'm trying to make music do all these things then i do want to uh have a youtube channel a platform like this and then we do right like there's no reason to go outside of ourselves to see something we don't already have but i definitely feel like there can be a flame of inspiration that is lit big truck going by <laughs> i do feel like there is a flame of inspiration that can be lit again you know, because if you look back in the 2020 and 2021, we were uploading quite a lot. 
And even at points like later in 2021, maybe early in 2022, you no, know, I do remember like Alex and I would always talk about how like we were gonna grow, we were gonna uh, have these goals of you know subscribers by a certain point. Obviously, we wouldn't beat ourselves up if we didn't meet that, but we always thought we could grow, and I still believe we could. I, I think it's it's not about us. Like we have the ability to grow as a platform. I I, I know that. For Alex and I, we both have light that we can bring that will, uh, you know, it will entice people. It will attract people. But I think we just have to find our own niche. And I don't necessarily think that just means separating and completely ending off this channel, but maybe starting something new, starting a new project, having a new goal, you know, starting something that gets us involved and really, uh, dedicated, motivated towards making more videos or doing some type of creative passion. I mean, like I am currently writing my third book, you know, and, and I've really been in a place lately. It's interesting because I have had a lot of uh, stuff on my plate lately. You know, I've been feeling kind of like under pressure a little bit, but at the same time, I felt more peace than ever. Like I have said, you know what, I'm not in control of whether or not someone accepts me for a job because I've been looking for a job. I'm not in control of that. I'm not in control of who or how many people watch this video. I'm not in control of all of these things, of who likes me, of who doesn't. I'm not in control of the answers to why I'm here or how I'm here. You know, but with all of this, I'm at peace. I'm not, I'm not looking for happiness. I'm never going to search for happiness. Because happiness is nothing more, nothing less than temporary. It's the same thing with sadness, anger, fear, nostalgia, all of these things. They're all temporary. But the one thing we cannot be deprived of is our own peace, our own peace of mind, accepting who we are, accepting these feelings, understanding that we, we go through these phases in life. And I've really found a level of peace that I haven't felt in a while, maybe ever, maybe never. And I still go through stuff. I'm not saying I'm like 100% balanced and a complete peace and harmony, but I felt very grounded and just accepting, you know, and that's like the second chapter of my book that I, I just finished up, which was uh, titled Acceptance. Of just accepting who I am, accepting my insecurities, accepting some of the mistakes I've made, understanding that all I'm here to do really is just learn. You know, and have that humble mindset and approach towards everything. Be confident, of course, but be, be at the same time humble and understand that you always have a new level of growth to confront. And I guess just with this channel, you know, we got to just kind of figure out what we want to do. And that's fine. You know, for anybody watching or for anybody who has tuned into our videos in the past, you know, we're not just going to abandon you guys. We, we love you guys. And it's the reason why we make these videos to uh, share our ideas, to explore new ideas with people and see what others think. And we're very uh, grateful for anybody who has tuned in. Again, like we didn't start this channel thinking like, oh, we need a million subscribers to feel content. Like we're accepting, or at least like, yeah, like we're accepting of the fact that, you know, we have hit this low. It's okay. You know, we just kind of have to figure out like what we're gonna do and it's gonna take some time, but I think it's all right. And we're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. Just be at peace with it all the highs and the lows, you know, the chaos and the order. So much love again to anybody watching, anybody tuning in out there. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, and we'll definitely keep you updated on where the channel is moving. Like I said, we're not just going to be done, uh, but it does feel like something might need to start. Like we need to have a goal uh, or, or start something new. So yeah, again, if you made it to this video, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And Will from Second Out Visions, signing out.